Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author. But in this video, I won't be writing puzzles. I'm going to be solving them along with... Laura! That's me, for yes. the record. <laughs> and we're going to be going back to this game, Cluedo, Robbery at the Mansion. Now, in a previous video, we solved the tutorial, which also works as the opening chapter of the game. And we smashed it. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure it's designed to be pretty easy to solve. Yeah. Uh, but in this video, we are going to go and have another look at it and go see right how... Yeah, we're going to dig into the first, the next full chapter of the game. Love Maybe a bit that. further, depending on how long it takes, because I've got no idea it will take mm. so before we read the rules it was all pretty straightforward yeah well we'll we'll work it all out as we go along again, it was a tutorial deck but it does pretty much guide you through what you need to open yes. and what's next and so before we had got as far as having this room on the on the board the grand entrance yeah and we've gone around and explored and solved a few clues in the mm -hmm. tutorial and we also had some cards yes we had cards for each of the traditional uh cluedo people and i was professor plum and i was colonel mustard a clear resemblance i have to say there what to colonel mustard for no, me no not for you oh. <laughs> what is it the lack of moustache that you gave know, me away his moustache is white not yellow i know but i just thought we'd go on theme and yeah, then we've and got we the others four, four of the cards and we also had this hacking device that mm. we used to solve a puzzle yeah um, and all of the people have little profiles in the back telling you about them thing. i don't know if this is ever relevant but it tells you shoe size fingerprints icon I feel like so at some point we're going to get a footprint, aren't we? I don't know. And we had just got this leaflet mm. that we hadn't looked at. The cerulean. And we had been told to get another another bit of the board out as well. Another bit of the board and the first deck of cards. So we worked through the tutorial oh, yes. deck and then we were allowed to go to deck one, which I presume is the first deck. Well, maybe you're right. One so I'm hope. Professor Plum and you, you are, are Colonel Mustard. So we mm. each have a little person. Excellent. These are the deck of cards we went through. So and the final deck. card at the end told us to open. And what was, was the, the final, final card, card at the end? 14. So the final card said place boards mm. B1 and B2. Look in the rules booklet for diagram for how to place them and add deck one to the bottom of your deck. Well, we've finished with this deck. deck. Yeah, I feel like we've completed that. Yeah, so we'll deck that one is here. Deck one. Excellent. Deck one. And we need B1 and B2 out of this. B1 and this B2. Board. I wonder where we're going next in the museum. I love a museum and I love Cluedo, so this is like my ideal crossover. Where are the letters? So on, on the back, back. board B1, B1. exciting, okay, and, B2. and board B2. Right, Smashing. Okay. okay, so we can put the box aside for now, we don't need anything from there, but we can just find out what's on B1 and B2. Yeah, you can turn them over. Yeah. Right, and also we need Ooh. to have a look at the diagram at the back of the book, Ali, which shows us how everything goes up. together. So we've got the... Let's move these out of the way. Statuary courtyard. Statuary? What's Statu a statuary? It's statuary. Yeah. Statuary. So is yeah. that a place where you have statues? Yeah. I think so. Well, gosh, we're going to need to zoom out. And a modern art gallery here. Well, I reckon that will just about fit. Lovely. I mean, eventually. Eventually, when we connect everything together, I'll right actually use a higher up camera. Oh my gosh! So excited. Right. Board built. And we reckon we ended up roughly here, going into the museum. Okay, so I think this flyer, which is all about the Sara Lee Museum of Art and Natural History, basically has a four pieces of information. It has a post-it of target exhibits you're interested in stealing. Uh, it has some information on how to navigate lasers in the planetarium. Red under, blue over, green backflip. Um, some information about an Egyptian tomb. Uh, mapping uh, names of gods, I think, to mm -hmm. something about them. Yeah. And then down the bottom, oh, to access a painting on Black's List, select the right holes on the modern art, east, west, east north. north. Okay. And then the statuary courtyard, there's a definition of Roman numerals here. Nice. So we haven't got the Egypt board and we haven't got the planetarium board yet, so we're just looking at... Oh, yes, we've got the modern art gallery yeah, here. Yeah, and the statuary courtyard. And the statuary courtyard, which is here, Roman numerals. Yeah, and presumably right. we would start with the statuary courtyard because that's where we enter next. Yes, I guess so. Mm. And these Roman numerals are clearly upside down. The six... Five, therefore that yeah. is not 11 but 9 mm -hmm. and that is presumably 4 yeah so that's to catch you out isn't it do you think so i think so yeah okay so maybe we don't need that for now but it's got we've got roman numerals on here though so we might yeah well, i mean we know roman numerals right? we do oh, we might need a little refresher course on my roman numerals oh really yeah no i should be should be fine Right, we'll okay. find out. <laughs> Deck one, discard this card. Discard this it's card. Gone. Ooh, 100. Right, okay. So, shall we just turn over? Should we go to 100? Yep. And turn over? Say it's your turn. No, you can go first because I remember actually you were quite upset that my turn was very long. Last go, time. You did have a really long go. I did have it was a, really a bit long unfair. Go. I did you, cry. Uh, that happened Not all off of that camera. is true. <laughs> right, Gary. off camera. You can go first. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to 100. Let's go to 100. Let's take it to 100, Laura. When you open the door, you find yourselves in a statuary courtyard. It's full of marble sculptures and busts, though none look like the one Black described. That's the person who you are 
working for, isn't it? To go and I steal can't remember. the goods. Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe. So. You take a closer look anyway. Take okay. card 101 and discard this. Nice. We need a discard pile, don't we? Ooh. Okay. Oh, three funky Roman statues. Nice. Nero, Julius, and Marcus. What does it say at okay. the bottom? I remember the writing was really tiny on some of these. Two puzzle pieces plus puzzle. something else needed to solve. Okay. okay. It's quite helpful. So we know we need another puzzle piece and something else. Something else. So we'll leave that That's line there for one now. puzzle piece. Right, you'll go. So my go. Okay, so I'm going to go to 110. So, oh, that's our next card. That's lucky, like isn't it? Let's have a look. Am I going to have a really long go again now? hope so. <laughs> okay, oh gosh, we've got a timeline and it's uh, it's small. Yeah, I'll, I'll zoom in, although I have made, rather messed everything up in the process. <laughs> a delicate balance. Okay, so we've got a timeline of Roman, Roman emperors, emperors yeah. and then it says two puzzle pieces plus question mark needed to solve. So, so we have... F1 and F2, do they go together, do you think? Yes, definitely they go together. So we've still got a question mark, so I presume that will pose us some sort of conundrum. Well, no, the question, yes, but the question mark means you need other information. That's what I mean, as in that, that missing bit of information The missing probably... bit of information might be, we, I think we should go to 120 as well first. Yes. But the missing bit of information might be that we need these Roman numerals and where these three gods are pointing. Yeah, because they're, in fact, you can't see them, they're just off the bottom of the screen, and I think they're not gods, they're oh, yeah, Roman emperors, emperors, but they are these, these guys. These are the three guys, yeah, so yeah. this one's pointing at number four. This one's, I reckon we just read, probably, I reckon we take a card, perhaps in the order of the... The gods left to right. Do you think so? Yeah, maybe. Um, shall we go to? Let's go to one twenty, yeah, we'll and to it's your go. You okay. go to one twenty. Right. Okay. What's There's coming up next? Let's see what's going on. Next on Cluedo. <laughs> okay, Ooh. strange. It looks like there's something behind these bushes. Ooh. You peer behind them and find a security panel. Ah. Oh, this is where we use our decoder yes. that we still have. From that before. matches our nice little decoder here. So presumably this will tell us what to take next. Yeah, so card one, one two, two, six. six. Fun. There one, we go. two, six. Thank you very much. Let's see what's on here. Solved! Secret security. Your hacking tool comes through once again and grants you access to the panel. Surprise, surprise. You're able to download some very interesting information. Discard puzzle card A2, which is the one that we just, it's this one here, that we just discovered. And take cards 128 and 129. That in our discard pile. And then discard discard, which is what that nice. symbol means. There we go. Right, let's have a look. One, two, eight, one, two, nine. Ooh. Interesting. Yes, Traitor's Path, Security A, Security Guide, Statuary Courtyard. The traitor entered the museum along this path. Um, so this is a map of this. You can't see it. Yeah, should we zoom out? But you've got a map of this room here, the haven't you, plan. on the sides yeah. like this? Let's take this off here a moment. This is obviously a map of this room. Yeah, here. and the next room. The traitor entered the museum along this path. You can't see now, I've zoomed out, this is green. This is slime. <laughs> it looks great, doesn't it? They spent a few minutes at this spot where the exclamation mark Which is. Which has got to be there, pretty yes, much. It's right it in the middle of this yeah. room here, so it must be. So they just hung out in a little sort of swimming pool type. Well, fashion. then they then they carried yeah, then they carried on through, mm -hmm. and then they exited later on the red line at the bottom, uh, back through here. Back through the front and door. The building was entered and exited. Yeah, through the, the front door. That's like a pretty obvious, non-stealthy way to enter a building, doesn't it? The front door. Yeah. Okay, so we don't do anything with those. Not yet, <laughs> but we know that they spent some time at the fountain. Yes. That's all we know. Maybe we need to make some deduction later in the game. Maybe we do. Just like in traditional Cluedo. Just like in traditional Cluedo. So I reckon okay. here we must have all we need. Therefore, I assume we are doing them in order from left to right of Hang age. On. What do you mean we've got all we need? I assume that we're just going to take a card pointed out by these numbers. So I assume we take... I assume we look at, this must be for some reason that we know their ages. I reckon we take the oldest emperor first, furthest back in time that is. So we've got Nero, Julius and Marcus. So Julius is the oldest. Mm -hmm. And Julius is, as we know from this card, the middle one. And he's pointing at one. So I think we're taking card one something, and then two more digits. And then the next oldest emperor is, is it Marcus or Nero? It's Nero here. So then we're looking at where Nero, which is this one on the right, is pointing which is Nero. He's, yeah. He's this one here. Yeah. He's pointing at what's upside down four. Okay, so one four. So we look one four, and then the other one must be um, this guy here, right? Which is a hundred. He's pointing. No, at... I think he's pointing at nine. Oh, do you think so? Yeah. One four nine. So I think we're taking card one four nine. What makes you think that we're going in order from? Well, most aged to because least aged. otherwise, what are we doing with this card? 
It says they go together. It says they go together, but it also says plus question mark needed to solve. Yeah, but we've got no other information we can take. I know, and I don't understand what the significance of us knowing the root of the... I think that will gather up throughout the game. Do you think, I think so? You may, I think you'll probably gather clues as you solve. I just feel like we and haven't got enough information game, yet. Well, I'm good. Hang on, let's just have a look, if, see if there's anything here. All right. Because it says... Stapes and poets of times before stand in the Cerulean Museum's Roman courtyard. Survey the rich collection of marble busts and luscious state with bot botanicals imported from the Black Botanical Garden. And then it... Is that just regular Roman numerals? That's regular Roman numerals, yes. OK, happy. There's nothing else to do, is there? 149. There's a 149. But that's got to be in the next room. Why? Because it's 140 over here. Oh, I wouldn't think about that much. Sold Roman rule. You circle around to the backs of the busts and find valves attached to each plinth. That was correct. When you turn them off in order, the fountain in the middle of the courtyard stops flowing. Discard puzzle cards F1 and F2. I don't feel like that was that motivated. I don't, I don't know what the extra information was that we were supposed to have. The extra information is the positions of the, the things on the board and the Roman numerals on the board. That's the extra information that's needed. So not another card or something? No. Well, exactly. In the, on the previous episode, you probably don't remember, there was a question mark and it meant you need to look at the picture of the bones. On, yeah. On no, the I do remember that because I solved that actually rather well. And there so I think that's what the question <laughs> The question marks mean you need other information that you've gathered. Okay. Um, but the, yes, you had to make the completely arbitrary decision to order them from oldest to yeah. most recent, because otherwise you might order them from left to right. That's what I mean by it not necessarily being motivated. I assume no, that we were missing no, something a I, bit more explicit. I agree entirely. Mm. It's, it's arbitrary that you go from left to right. Okay. But you know, in escape room games, if they haven't bothered telling you, go left to right. Yeah, usually. Um, <laughs> right. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So you circle around to the backs of the busts and you discard cards one F one and F two, and you take card one six eight. One six and eight. Place it, place it oh. on the board. And I also maybe falsely assumed that we would be sticking within the sort of numbers that are within each room, but we've gone to a different room and then 160 is somewhere else entirely. So. And do you know what? I also, it was incorrect just now because I said we've visited everything, but no, we can go into this room still. Can we? Because yeah, the door's yeah, open. Yeah, because we've, we've connected it, right? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, because it's not locked. That door was, was physically locked and we yeah. had to unlock it. Oh, look, yes, there's a bit of broken tape But here. I think when it gives you all the rooms that you could... So I was actually just totally wrong. We, okay. Maybe there are clues for the order for them in this room. Mm. Now, I personally actually doubt it. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> but maybe there's a clue in here to the order of the statues. Okay, let's find out what's going on. Anyway, 168. Aha, ah, 180. We've now got... That's, is that upside down? No, I've got that the right way up. Yeah, but I think if it wants us to put it upside down because if you look, it corresponds with the... Roman yeah. numerals on there. So there's actually a 180 that we want to take. Oh, right. And Maybe you had to turn it 180, lol. You had to turn it 180. Right, whose go is it? Um, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> so that, interestingly, that picture has got a fountain underneath it, which we didn't have before. Previously, it was just... I thought it was drained, ...an it empty says. pool. It said you stop the fountain in the middle. So I don't know uh, if we've skipped ahead a little bit here. No. I think we have. But let's find out. No, we haven't. Okay. Now that the fountain isn't feeding the pool water, some of it drains away to reveal a locked glass case. Oh, fun. Inside, you can make out the bust of Croesus, one of the exhibits you're meant to steal. Oh. Is that on the list? Oh, yes, on the list. Bust, oh, they're at the top, target bust exhibit. Bust of Croesus. That so feels like it's going to be something really difficult to carry out of a museum. <laughs> a marble bust. Wow. Reverend Green chimes in. I've got just the thing to crack this lock, a device of my own design. Open the safe box. Open the safe box. Take cards 116 and 117. Cool, we're gonna. We got rid of that card. 116 and 117. Safe cracker. Ooh. Wow. Love that. Love that that was just hidden in the fountain. That glass <laughs> yeah. box with a marble bust in That's it. That's handy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, safe cracker. This tool will help you crack any rotary or dial locks you find around the museum. The puzzles will give you a three symbol code to crack. To use, start with the dial pointing towards the top arrow, as shown, I presume. First, rotate the dial left to the first symbol, then rotate the dial right to the second symbol, finally rotate the dial left to the last symbol. You must count the number of audible clicks between each symbol to deduce the card number that will solve each puzzle. So I'm guessing that we're assuming that each time we move by a symbol is a click. That's an audible click, yeah. So okay. if we start here and we go to the diamond, yeah. that's one. Yeah, we're going left first. And then we yeah. go back the other way. To the plus, which yeah, would be eight. one. That's point. That's something to point with. Yeah, yeah. Should be one, two, three, four. four. So one, four, and, and then, then we're going to start one, two, three, four, five. So we're taking card one, four, one, five. Four, five. To open this, right? Yeah. And presumably we have this right at the start to prove that we know how to use it. 
Should we turn it over? Yeah. Exciting. Ooh, clue. Dark, Dark hair. hair. Gallery. Yeah, why does it say gallery? Uh, probably because we're in the gallery. No, but we're not. We're oh. in here. Or maybe that's just a clue that is found in the gallery. Okay, well, fine. But we've got the, we've got the door open, so perhaps yeah, there's a breeze that's blown it in from the gallery. <laughs> so I assume. Wait, it's just. So we don't have. It doesn't tell us to discard this. No, so we've still got that. It says to keep this one, but I assume we actually do discard this because we've opened it, right? Uh, oh no, we're we keeping it because this is what we're trying to nick. Yeah, <laughs> right, I think okay. so. Right, and we'll keep the safe cracker. So we card. hold on to that. So we've got our dark hair, we've got our clue, okay. we've got other things. So shall we just go to the next yeah, it's your place? Turn. Is it my turn? Okay, yeah. I'm going to go to one forty. All right. One four zero, and that is in the modern art gallery. Exciting. A thick metal security door shines brightly against a fire-blackened door frame. It's the only way out of this room to get deeper into the museum. You'll have to find the key card that opens it. And that looks again like our little decoding device that we yeah, need. Yeah, but it says you need three puzzle pieces to solve oh. it. And that, yeah. But maybe this will help us it to find them. Us, 163. Yeah. Okay. So maybe yeah, you they'll want... emerge. 163. Ooh, Ooh. There's only 163. Have we already taken 163? No. That won't. That means you can't open it with that then, because oh, we're reading them in position one, two, three. It must be something in the yeah. middle that maps across. Okay. Well, we can't do anything. With definitely that haven't yet. taken one six three. No, we definitely haven't taken one six three. Oh, I can remember that. Disappointing. Um, okay, my turn. Oh, your turn. Where do you Let's want to go? Let's go over to well, it's one thirty, one fifty. I go to one thirty. Okay. Because I've always wanted to stare at the wall. Fair enough. You yeah. might be staring into the room with your back against the wall. That's true. Mm. 1.30. At the art. The wall Ooh. is covered in dark soot and the smell of char hangs in the air. Mm. There must have been char, usually a verb, but anyway. <laughs> there must have been some sort of fire here, but uh. there's nothing around that could have started it. A stark, oval-shaped patch of white wall stands out, as if there had been something hanging there that has since been removed. Mm. When you get closer, you notice something sitting in the ash in the ground, along with some large footprints. I told you, footprints are coming. It's the Yeti. 131 and 132. The Yeti? Yeah. Which Yeti? 131 and 132. I don't know, I haven't Yeti found out. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a big footprint. Oh, that's very big, isn't that's it? That's a big that's footprint. So big. And, okay, so oh, G2, that goes with our other thing. Yeah, it does. Um, so are we actually going to find three different charred bits? Oh, maybe. That have different things on. But well, before we do that, should we have a look at everyone's footprints? Yes, but I'll just point out this is G3 here. Oh, yes, they G3. Clearly, oh, wait, there's a bit of a... It that's what I two. mean. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Is and we, we might find three of those slightly charred bits. Put them on top, and they'll make uh, something else. Okay. But yes. we don't the fact, have the other ones. This must just be. Maybe this is this the way that you assemble stuff. It's not necessarily unique to the decoder. No. Okay. We'll move that out of the way. For we'll now. move that out of the way, and, and then we have a clue. We what have a clue that the person had feet. That so the we now had know. Feet. Well, hang on a minute. Do the footprints the on each feet. person's card differ? No, it's there just no fingerprints. So no, it's just about oh. their shoe size, though. It's got the, I know that's what I said. So I thought they might have there. Because to remind you of the story, mm. you, you're six of you are supposed to be nicking an ob object to the museum, but yes. one of you has betrayed the others, dun, dun, dun. and you've got you all locked in. And so you're trying to escape and work out who it was who betrayed who you. It is. Da, 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 da. Could um, be me. Could be Gareth. Or could be one of the other mystery <laughs> yes. characters. Okay, so that footprint, it just says footprints, art gallery. So we've got a hair and a footprint. Yeah, it's so a dark we now hair. know the person has hair and feet. Yeah, or, well, shoes. And also they came in and went out. Yes. So we're narrowing it down. Via the fountain. Yeah. So they must be sopping wet, but yeah. anyway. Well, no, right. Because the fountain was drained, it says. The fountain was drained. Despite the fact that when we, after we drained we it, we got took there, a bit, yeah. It wasn't Because well, we're, not, we're not there the same day, are we? I think we're, we're coming to investigate it after, after okay. the event, I think. Oh, really? I think you've gone back. I'm not really clear. <laughs> right. Anyway, it's all good. Okay, might go. Great. I'm going to go 150. Let's find out. By the way, we still haven't found clues about Roman bust orderings. So uh, yeah. I don't think that the fact that I didn't go into that room first was relevant. Unless... An abstract modern sculpture no. sits in the centre of the room. It's large and certainly someone must think it beautiful. So you walk around it inspecting its odd angles. Take cards. One, five, one, two, three and four. And then I can get rid of that card. Oops, excuse me. Sorry. Five, one, two, three, four. This feels like a lot of cards, and I'm excited. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is relevant to the stuff on the leaflet then. Ah, yes. So these um, exhibits have numbers on, and we got given an order in. This is the view, isn't it? So, yeah. what did it say on our modern art gallery? To access the painting on Black's list, uh, select the right holes. Okay, it's pretty explicit what to do on the yeah. modern art: east, west, north. East, west, north. So east. It even tells you you need the pamphlet. Very helpful. Yeah, I love that. 
So if this is south... We need to orient it correctly, yeah? So south must be here, because we've got... Oh, there's a picture of it. A yeah, so we've got a cylinder and a, a right. yellow wiggly thing. Yeah, let's arrange them so south is at the bottom, north is at the top. Yeah. So, so north, therefore, would be this pink brick on the left and the... What's the word for that? A pyramid on the right, that way. Yeah, we can just put it on the... Did you just say this was east or north? North. If that's south, just, it must be the opposite of north. Yeah, let's put it here then. Ooh. And then which way around do these two go? Oh, I was doing them around the around the statue. Oh, that's too that's too clever. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. And then so this one, so if this is north, this must be east here. So we want yellow on the left, so that's east. Yeah, so there, that's correct. Yeah, it is. North, correct, east, south, west. So then what we need is East, West, North. East, west, and north. So we and it's the one just the ones on the right. What? It's, does it, say, it, said, it says number of dots. Select the right holes on the modern art, or does it mean correct? Ooh, it's ambiguous. Ooh, that is ambiguous. But well, given that zero can't be the first digit, I think it doesn't mean yeah. right. It means correct. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're correct. Because all, <laughs> all the cards start with yeah, one. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so the, and we know that east is the first digit, so it can't be the right block. It means no. just... That it's, is confusing, though. It's poorly, poorly worded. Yeah, if there had been any dots on there, I would have gone. It's only the yeah. ones on the right. Yeah, and I'd have agreed with you. Hmm. So it's the total dots, not the right, specifically not right the right to right the dots. right. Right, so east, west and north. So it would be one, four, two. Yeah, agreed. Fun. Do we have one, four, two? We, we do, do have one, four, two. Solved. Solved! 360 sculpture. You depress the correct buttons. Well, there were buttons. What fun. On the sculpture and a scraping noise alerts you to the nameplate on a nearby painting sliding down. Hey, that's the painting Mr. Black asked you to steal. Where the nameplate was, you now see a string of etched symbols and a combination lock. Discard puzzle cards, K. So those puzzle cards. And then take card 143. Okay. Fun. I do enjoy the way that you are just sort of cleanly get rid of lots of cards at the end of stuff, so you're not having... Yes. I don't, I don't, I don't have millions of cards. No, so. I don't. But also, um, why on earth were there buttons on a modern art sculpture that make oh, a Oh, who knows? I think we can't look too much into the logic of it. Ooh. This puzzle piece plus safe cracker you to solve. Okay. Oh, yes. Our safe cracker is here. Ta-da! So we're starting at the, at the triangle. Yeah. And we can't go left, left to the... To the it's diamond. going to be one again, isn't it? One. Oh, is that, I keep thinking that's a square, but it's a diamond because oh. they're pointing towards the yes. middle. It's very confusing, actually. Mm. One and circle. Background circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, six. I'll point with my other hand. And then back one. Uh, back one. So one, six, one. Yeah. So we're taking Card, one, six, one, six, one. one. There's no one, six, one. Oh, no. It's all gone hideously wrong. No, one, six, Maybe one. I can't count. Have we already taken one six one? No, I think I just probably I can't okay. do it. Okay. All right. Well, Laura and I just had a very entertaining four <laughs> or five minutes, being incredibly confused about why there is no one six one. Why in the can't deck. we make the decoder work or the yeah, safe cracker work? But we have now worked something out based on. <laughs> Having a look to see online if what was going on with this puzzle. We were so baffled because we just couldn't make it work, yeah, however we tried. It's something to do with us not understanding the previous card. So when we Here. found this when we card. Found this card. But is that that must have been when we took the safe cracker card, I think. Yeah, it was. We thought the safe cracker card was going to be the thing that we needed to yeah, use. Yeah. It turns out what we actually need is to open this physical safe in the box, yeah, in the I, game box. It says open the safe box. I just thought that was in the game world. I, we thought it was an imaginary one. Yeah, I thought it meant with this. <laughs> but it turns out, and I would have been stuck on this and so annoyed. We would before. have not been able to complete this. I don't know what's going on. It turns out there is an actual safe box <laughs> in here with presumably an actual Zoom safe cracker, in, which explains explains why we were baffled by the audible clicks thing because yeah. there might be audible clicks to come in yeah so it means open this open the safe box and uh okay there we go <laughs> well at least we found out early on imagine if we'd gone for hours and hours and hours okay there's an act why would you have a safe cracker within a safe that seems like a security <laughs> risk <laughs> can you just open that piece but let's just try it okay oh okay. okay that's quite hard to turn okay so no wonder we couldn't do that puzzle. That means so there's what we assumed that one place movement was one audible click and then we were getting all kinds yeah. of funny maths and couldn't match? make it work. Does it match? Do the symbols match if you put the triangle on top? Wait, there's no arrows, is there? Yeah, so start with the dial pointing up. Well, so when we solved this before, 
We must have taken the wrong card. Right in the middle, they just need to point. There we go. We must Actually, have taken the wrong card. That's why we got a hair from That's the That's why we got a random hair, because we had put... Our numbers must have been too low, let's I think. Go, let's put this back. We haven't found it yet, although we know it's coming. <laughs> um, in the pack. And I think... To be fair, we will not be the only people who aren't, didn't keep the box in front of Surely. them. Surely. Although, right? that said, we have got a myopic view of this just yes. this area. You might, well, if you had the box out on the table in front of you. We're obviously quite... Out of a group of you. We're obviously quite out of sight, out of mind, people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got the safe we've cracker. We've got Well, hang on, where we, we need to take the correct card from opening the safe before then, right? From opening the safe before. Yeah. What was that? What was the last time? We haven't used it yet, have we? We did. We used it when we got it out of the fountain. Oh, oh, here's the fountain man. Oh, you've got it. There he is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, we kept him for later because we didn't know what we were supposed to be doing with That's him. That's true because it didn't make any sense yeah. that we got a hair from the gallery. And we were just like, well... Why does it not say you've solved a puzzle? <laughs> we'll keep this glass case. This makes sense. Of emotion. Right. right. <laughs> so what we're supposed to do is count the number of clicks. Left, so we've got the symbols so, on here. Left to the diamond. That's always going to be one, isn't it? Ouch. Okay, gosh, that's hard. hard. To turn yeah, to yeah. Plus. What? One. Five. Five. Not four. One, two, three, four, and yet five okay, clicks. Okay, okay. And then we want to go back to the star. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, five, six. One, five, six. Which is not what we took before. Which is not what we took before. Which explains why we got a ha random hair. Random hair, which is just not what you want to find, is it? Yep. Solved. Right. Busted lock. <laughs> Busted puzzle solving. You spin the dial on the lock with a satisfying click and the door swings open. You finally... Oh, sorry. You pull out the bust of... How do you say... How do you pronounce that? Croesus. Croesus. Yeah. Okay. It has you, he's really good at telling jokes. He has you in creases has you all in the creases. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, you're making some progress on Black's list of exhibits. Finally, we are. Thank yeah, goodness. We were just I carrying around a glass case with us. We had yeah, no idea what we were doing. The we have now in creases. <laughs> As you're turning to walk away with your pilfered goods, I Good word. love that word, yeah. a soggy key card bumps against your ankle in the water. Discard puzzle card H1. So we're getting rid of the bust, and then we take cards 1, 2, 2, and 1, 2, 3. Oh, right, it's okay. Okay. I think we're back on track now that we've I got a real are. safe cracker. This, we've got rid of this, right? Yeah. No, this is no, what we just revealed. This is what we've revealed. Yeah. Oh, look, look. Laser okay. dude. Laser Buster dudes. creases with laser eyes. Laser eyes. Uh, okay. Wow. Which we already worked out. But it doesn't solve the issue where they're looking at things. In what fact, are the colours about? It's not so much the eyes, it's their hands. That's it's really actually the hands that are pointing at But what things. are the colours for at the bottom? Who? This is a valid question. Do we, thank you. Do we know that yet? No. Does that connect with something? Did Do we have any colours anywhere card? else? Yeah. Maybe, maybe there was actually... Oh, he's got red eyes now. He does have laser notice. eyes, which seems like a bit of a fire Well, there's no hazard. colours on here. No. And then the other card was this one. It also doesn't have colours. No. Maybe that will link up with something else, though, because yeah. we've, if, you, if we've held on to these clue cards before, so we've got our footprint, we've got our traitor's path. They're over here. You can't see them, but we're, we're sort of gathering some clues. So let's keep that. So that's what we should have got before. That's what we should have got and before. And the other part of this puzzle. Yeah. So we've got G1, G2 and G3 and... We've got G1 and G2 now. Have we? We've got G1 and G2. Oh, yes, they're over here. Here. And we thought maybe it went with the safe cracker, yeah. but maybe it doesn't. So eventually we'll be able to put them together. Oh, we yeah, need look, three puzzle can. pieces to solve that. What is the other one? Just this? No, because it contradicts stuff. Yeah, so do we need another one? Because that's our safe cracker. So we need a G3. Yes. I wonder if it yeah. doesn't go with the bust of creases, does it? No, it must be it. We just need a G3. Yeah, we need a G3. That's right. okay. So back to this. Back to this. So now we can really work out what the safe cracking one, code is. One, it wasn't one six like one. Right. So we've got a dime. Do you want to do it? No, you go for it. So we start with the triangle at oh, the top. Goodness. Honestly, the amount of times that we doubted how much we could count to eight was high. And diamond. We know it's okay. one. We know it's going to be one. Circle. Circle. Oh, that sounded like ten to me. Okay, let's do it again. Should we do that again? I don't know if there was a. a Random extra one in the middle. So we're on the diamond, diamond. okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay, one nine. And then we're going to the trapezium. One, one nine one. One nine one. Not one six one. One nine one. Well. Makes all that audible click stuff make sense, doesn't it? does, it? doesn't it? Okay. I think we're going to have a much smoother ride now that we've got all the tools. Yes. Solved. <laughs> painting lock. You spin the dial on the lock and the painting's frame swings forward. You, you carefully, carefully peel, peel the, the canvas, canvas down. down. 
and roll up the painting to take it with you. That seems like a crime. Always a good way to look after your paintings. Do you well. know what famous painting you can't roll up? Any of them. Well, uh, yes, obviously. Some of them on, on that's like bad, canvas. Naughty and wrong. How would you roll up, you know, a canvas on a board? Did you know that the Mona Lisa is painted on wood? It's painted on a wooden board. It's not on a canvas. Huh? So you couldn't roll it up. Huh. When does she look so bored? And obviously... <laughs> I was going to say you wouldn't roll it She's got a wooden anyway. expression. She's, she actually has got sort of an enigmatic... Anyway. I wouldn't have known that. Anyway, well, now you know. Every yes. day's a school day, isn't it, Gary? Yeah, they have glass in front of it, so you can't damage it. Yeah, well, famously. Right. It makes it hard to photograph it, because you get a lot of reflections. Well, it's probably not what Da Vinci had in mind, because cameras yes. haven't been invented yet. Right. Glass hadn't been invented. Cameras hadn't oh, been invented. Oh, cameras. <laughs> Discard puzzle... They probably didn't have such pure glass. Discard puzzle cards, J1. Sky puzzle card J1 and take cards 144. So we're getting rid of the painting. I feel like we're getting rid of all these things that were here. We go 144, 145. We've got some clues. We've got the painting. So we've got right. We've got some colours here. Of the, each of the things we're nicking. This is gonna have. Oh, got colours on. do you think it will be to do? Are these the colours of people in our team? It might be. Yeah, it could be. That was. I was just thinking that, but then we've got two blues here. Well, two I wonder if they fit together in some way. Also, Maybe. we now have the hair. We've now the got painting. the hair. We've officially got sense. the hair as opposed to. Illegally uh, polluted. What, what, what do we do now? And now I think we can move, can't we? To where? Have we got nowhere else to go? No. But what happened when we were over? That's what we just did. Oh. We have one card we haven't taken. One eight four. One eight four. One eight four. Maybe we. Well, I guess we have to solve this puzzle then. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Presumably it gives us one eight four. <laughs> but how? Are we missing something? Well, we haven't got a G three. We haven't got a G three, have we? No. Is that G3? No. No. Where's um, G3? Where's G3? Where's G3? Is it in that pile? Okay. By accident. Have we accidentally discarded G3? These are the cards we've used since we entered these two rooms. No, we haven't accidentally discarded G3. Is it over here? Is it in your pile in front it's of It's not in my pile of clues. Are you sure? I'm collecting, I promise. They've all got magnifying glasses at the bottom. Oh, yes. That's interesting. We don't have oh, this is G3. Wait, wait, we have got G3. We have got G3. OK. <laughs> Thick metal security door shines brightly against a, a fire blackened door frame. It's the only way out of this room. OK, so we, this is how we saw it. So we did have it. OK, so... We line these up and then we read the card numbers, which is going to yeah. be 184, isn't it? It's got to be 184. One, two is eight. Sign that more neatly. And three is four. One, there we eight, go. Four. 184. Okay. Right. Solved. Solved. Dewey rigged key card. You carefully take the burnt and waterlogged key cards together. Cross your fingers and slide it through the slot. What your fingers? Oh Ow. no, bad. It works somehow. You're the most brilliant thieves of your generation. Dubious. <laughs> I'm not, absolutely not sure not that's convinced. true. Uh, okay. The discard. Door open. Read, read the door opens. It's oh, a key sorry. bit. So where? Yeah. Oh, the door the opens. Point's on the screen, the you can't door see. opens. Ah, okay. Hooray! Okay. So discard. get rid of. This. Those right. cards. And then C1. it's add deck two to the bottom of your deck. And place board C1 and C2. C1 and C2. Okay, right. so we've graduated. Yeah. So that was chaotic from us, but mm. I actually really enjoyed it. It is fun, isn't it? Now that we're into... Yeah, I really like... It's kind of like harmless storytelling, and I like the puzzles, and I think it's really accessible, even though we missed out an obvious clue. Well, I don't think it was that obvious. Do you not think so? Well, well I would have helped to hand the box behind me. Yeah, we played ourselves. <laughs> It does look yes. exactly. I think we were so into the kind of imaginary world of it when it said open the safe box. We were like, okay, we'll do that in our minds. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. I think we will do this as a separate episode. I think so. But we've got deck two, board one, C1 and board C2. And we're going to carry yes. on immediately. Yeah. But we'll end this video there for now. And you so can join us. So we keep us. these in reasonable lengths. Um, so do join us in the next episode, which will be uploaded shortly after this one. And hopefully. it's going to be much more smooth and seamless. Yeah, and right? we're not going to get stuck with our little clicky devices. Click, 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 it's click, really click. hard to it's, turn. It's also incredibly loud. It's definitely yeah. an audible click Ow. anyway. So, yeah, I know. Um, well, if you enjoyed this video, do like it, do subscribe, um, do comment, please, mm. as well. Yes, and let us know if you got stuck anywhere. If you opened an imaginary box in your mind or if you opened a real box in the real box, let us know. Yes, you may have remembered when we waved the box around at the start, there was a safe to open. Yeah. Oh, no. um, well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a short break and carry on now with um, board C1, C2, mm -hmm. and the next deck of cards. But until the next video, all it remains for me to say is take care and goodbye. And I'll say bye. 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 <laughs>